The Advanced Guide to Microsoft Access 2013 Advanced Report Design Part 1 Another Computer Mama Guide The Receipt Printout When a happy customer leaves our store, he'll have a handful of videos and a receipt that shows which movies he rented. Who bought what? Our video store uses a small point-of-sale printer, a POS. The paper that comes out is usually about two inches wide. You've seen them at grocery stores and at gas stations. So our formatting has to reflect that. This lesson is divided into three parts. Advanced Report Design Part 1, The Receipt Printout. The focus will be on creating a query that calculates the total for each receipt and the receipt will be formatted to fit the 2-inch format. Advanced Report Design Part 2 Advanced Report Design 2 will create a sub-report that lists the movies and add that sub-report to the receipt. Advanced Report Design 3, The Producers, will look at essential business reports including mailing labels and mail merges. Remember, Microsoft Office works together. So here's the plan. The record source for the receipt printout will be a query. Report Movie Rented SQ. It'll use the same table that was the record source for the receipt subform. When you're working in databases, if the form works, the report should work as well. So we'll start by looking at the record source, Table Movie Rented, create a query, and create a report from that query that's formatted for a small format. Here are the lesson objectives. Create a select query that groups the sales and calculates the totals. Use the group by and totals row in a query. We'll create a blank report and select that query as the record source. And we'll edit the report page setup so that it fits. There are some sample files you can download if you wish. The ribbons that we're going to focus on are Query Tools Design and Report Design Tools. So, if you are ready, please start the program Microsoft Access and open that sample database. Hello, Access. What do we have here? Let's look at the data. In the All Access Objects, there are eight tables, eight queries, seven forms, Three reports. Keep going. A database starts with the tables. Open Table Movie Rented in Design View and what do you see? This table is in third normal form. The key, the key, and nothing but the key. There is a key for Customer ID, Receipt ID, Movie ID. The date rented is important as well. It is part of our business model to use the date rented to calculate the price. Close the table. Keep going. Create the select query movie rented SQ. The ribbon that I want is create. Create, queries, query design. You will be prompted by the show table window to select a table or query. From the tables, select table movie rented, table customers. Table Movies, Table Rental Price. Close the Show Table window. Keep going. As you added each table to the query, the tables were joined by their keys. Look at the joins. Table Movie Rented and Table Customer are joined by the same key, Customer ID. Table Movie Rented and Table Movies are joined by the same key as well, Movie ID. Table Movies and Table Rental Prices are also joined by a matching key, Rental Price ID. Run the query. Go to Query Tools, Design Results, and click on Run. What do you see? The query returns seven results. On Receipt 1, Customer ID 2 has five movies. On Receipt 2, Customer ID 3 has two movies. So far, so good. Please return to the design view. 
Did you know you can use a query in a query? Right now, this query has table customers linked to the rest of our tables, who bought what. However, we already have a query that does a lot for us. The query is customer name SQ, and it combines or concatenates many fields that we need. Try it. Select Table Customers and click Delete on your keyboard. Bye-bye. Now, add a query. Go to Query Tools Design Show Table. Click on the tab for Queries and select a query. Customer Name SQ. Close the Show Table window. Create a relationship. Let's join the query to the tables. Try it. Select Customer ID from Table Movie Rented and drag that field to Customer ID in the query, Customer Name SQ. There should be a join now between the table and the query. The common key is Customer ID. Try this too, add more fields. From Customer Name SQ, double click, Full Name, Address 1, City State Zip. Home phone. There should be four new fields on the QBE grid. Save. Please save your work. Now run the query again and see what we get. Go to Query Tools Design Results Run. What do you see? Now our little query has what we need for the receipt printout. Name, address, and phone number. Go back to Design View and we will calculate the totals. The ribbon that I want is Query Tools Design Show Hide. Click on Totals. What do you see? There should be a new total row in the grid. The default value for the total row is Group By. There are other options. Try it. Edit the total. Go to the Movie column and change the total to Count. Go to the Price column and change the total to Sum. Run the query again. Go to Query Tools Design Results and click on Run. What do you see? The query returned two records this time. Each receipt counts the movies and sums up the price. Not bad. Save and close this query. Now we have the record source for the receipt printout. The receipt printout will be very small, two inches wide. For this lesson, we're going to begin with a blank report. The ribbon that I want is Create. Create Reports, Blank Report. A new blank report should open in Layout View. I've taken this report into Design View. Now, let's edit the properties. Go to Report Design Tools, Tools, and click on Property Sheet. First, select a record source. Report Receipt SQ. Now this blank form is bound to a record source. Do this now, save the report. Go to File, Save, and when you're prompted, enter a name. RPT Receipt POS, where RPT stands for Report. Click OK. We need to change the width of this report to fit the POS printer. Try it. Edit the report properties. Select the report, that's the square in the upper left hand corner. Go to the property sheet All. Edit the width 2 inches. Now select the page header and edit the page header in the property sheet. The height is 0 0.5 inches. And try this. Select the detail section. In the property sheet, edit the height. 2 inches. Let's review the page setup options. The ribbon that I want is Report Design Tools, Page Setup. In the Page Layout group, there are two orientations, Portrait and Landscape. This one is Portrait. Click on the button for Page Setup and what do you see? 
The page setup opens with three tabs, Print Options, Page, and Columns. Click on Columns. The number of columns is 1 and the column size is 2 inches wide. There is a check mark to say this is the same as the detail on our report. This is important. It helps it print correctly. Say OK and close the page setup. Now let's edit the page header. Go to Report Design Tools Design Controls and click on Label. When you click in the page header, type the following. Front row video. Please edit and position the label to fit. Keep going. Now let's add the name, address, and phone number. The report is still open in Design View. Go to Report Design Tools Design Tools and click on Add Existing Fields. What do you see? The field list should be available on the right hand side. Do this. Select the following fields. Date rented, full name, address 1, and city state zip. Drag and drop them to the little report. You can select the labels and delete them. They're not needed. The fields are selected. In the property sheet, edit the following. Left. 0.0417 Width 1.90 Now you can drag and drop the fields to fit. Very good. Add the calculated control. From the field list on the right hand side, add Count of Movies and edit the label Number of Movies. You can resize it to fit. Do it again. From the field list on the right hand side, click on Sum of Price and drag it to the receipt. Edit the label, Total Due, and change the formatting so that it fits. Line them up. Now try this too. Format the field outline. Select all the fields in the Details section from top to bottom. Go to Report Design Tools Format. Go to Control Formatting, Shape Outline. Choose an outline color. Transparent. The only way to see if it works is to see it as a user would. Let's change the view. Go to Report Design Tools Design, Views, Views, and choose Print Preview. What do you see? There are two records in this print preview, Receipt 1 and Receipt 2. The receipt has two calculated fields as well, Count of Movies and Sum of Price. Definitely I think we should save it if it works. Close the print preview and close the report. In the next lesson, Advanced Report Design Part 2, we'll design the sub-report that lists the movies. Very good. Get yourself a cookie. I hope you come back for Part 2. This is the Computer Mama, and thank you for coming.